Well, this is a series about something that appears in food all over our society. It's in grocery stores, it's in restaurants, almost everywhere you eat. It's called monosodium glutamate, or MSG, one of the most common food additives in America. In fact, it's so common that most people don't even know they're eating it. But this flavor booster is now being linked to cancer and heart disease. Here's medical reporter Galen Tethro with part three of our series on MSG. Monosodium glutamate is adding flavor to your food, but many researchers believe it's also subtracting years from your life. Jack Samuels wonders how he's dodged the MSG bullet for 35 years. I began to collapse uh, towards the end of certain meals in uh, restaurants. And frankly, I thought I was dying. And he could have. A physician diagnosed him with atrial fibrillation. That is, my heart becomes like jello and just beats all over the place. And it sometimes takes me up to five to six days to get over, over the attack. But how could MSG be responsible? Dr. Russell Blaylock says it's because glutamate gets into the blood quickly and stays there. So a person eating MSG throughout the day can raise glutamate blood levels dangerously high. With each meal, it rises, it stays elevated till you eat another meal, then it rises even further, and you eat another meal and it rises even further, and then it stays elevated through a good portion of the night. Blaylock says even moderate blood levels of MSG can cause harm, partly because specific organs have actual biological triggers called glutamate receptors. A group of these receptors in the heart controls heart rhythm. You can induce a fatal arrhythmia, that is the heart beats abnormally, and people can die from it. Well, arrhythmia is the number one cause of death uh, with heart attack. It's been noted in the uh, medical literature for decades that people who die of sudden cardiac death frequently do so after a meal. And Samuels, a retired hospital administrator, says ER doctors immediately recognize that it may be an MSG reaction. Now, sadly, that knowledge has not gone up <laughs> beyond the first floor. In other words, most cardiologists don't know about the connection to MSG. 2006 animal research shows that MSG damages blood vessels with substances known as free radicals. That can lead to clogged, weak arteries and blood clots. With humans consuming it every day, not just a single injection, but every day, uh, they're constantly increasing the free radical generation uh, inside the walls of their blood vessels. That's how most heart attacks and strokes come about. Research shows MSG attacks over 40% of the population in some obvious way. Migraines, throat swelling, diarrhea, vomiting, irregular heartbeats. But what about the less obvious, even silent damage? Glutamate receptors on the lungs could explain the rising affliction of juvenile asthma. This is one of the things agreed by everybody, is that it will produce worsening of asthma, even fatal asthma. And don't forget the nasty plague of diabetes affecting tens of millions of Americans. There are glutamate receptors on the pancreas, which can lead to diabetes or loss of diabetic control once the disease is present. Blaylock has also studied cancer extensively and written a book for cancer patients. In the last five years, researchers have found many cancers have glutamate receptors. The total picture is that if you're consuming a diet with glutamate in it, uh, particularly high levels, you're making your cancer grow very rapidly. Uh, I refer to it as cancer fertilizer. The cancers of this type include several brain cancers, colon cancer, breast cancer, and others as well. For Samuels and others who are concerned about avoiding MSG's impact on health, there is hope. As hard as navigating the grocery to avoid hidden MSG is, safe shopping is doable if you read food labels carefully. Galen Tethro, CBN News. Well, if that doesn't scare you, I don't know what will. Isn't that horrible? It's exhausting, Pat, because right. as I'm watching this story, my brain is just spinning, thinking right. now, what's in my cabinet. Well, well, what's healthy? You want to have a nice, healthy salad, right? Yeah. I mean, salads are good. So you want to get Hidden Valley Ranch Light Buttermilk. I just bought that. <laughs> Would you <laughs> mind reading the label, madam? All right. What is it? Just read a few of those things. All right. Artificial flavors, something, G gum, and then it yeah. says monosodium glutamate. That's MSG. That's in your salad. 
And here is I something. I just bought that. Put, well, you better throw it away. Well, here's something: Ken's Steakhouse Light <laughs> Asian Sesame with Ginger and Soy. Doesn't that sound delicious? Sixty percent less fat, forty percent fewer calories. And what does Ken put in his Asian Sesame sauce? Monosodium glutamate. glutamate. The same. You don't know how much. And it I've is. got that one in my fridge too. You, you just well, because I'm thinking that I'm eating very healthy when yes. I eat my salad, so you, I have an, an array of salad well, dressings. Well, here's one. It sounds nice. Gerard's Light Caesar Dressing, 50% less fat. Doesn't that sound good? It sounds luscious. All right. Tell me what it's got in that. I'm assuming, <laughs> oh, yeah, monosodium glutamate, MSG, MSG. It's got everything. And more MSG. And here's another one. <laughs> Marzetti. This is one I've never heard of. It's ranch creamy with buttermilk, but it has Ma mild it sodium. You Glutamate. know, I understand that uh, there are a few, but if you would like the Lone Ranger to come to the rescue, ta-da! Olive oil. I can't stand the taste of olive oil well, on my food, though. You'd better start developing a taste. Put this in with it. <laughs> what is that? Well, that's uh, what is vinegar. that vinegar? Yeah. So vinegar and olive oil? That's it. It's good for you. It's good for you, but it's, I it's just... It's in I, my salad in my, my, my diet program. You know what's even better? What's that? A little squeeze of lemon. Put some lemon on a salad and call yeah, it a day. Yeah, oh, but the olive oil is so good for you. This is a very... Uh, uh, this is... It's very pure. Yeah. Extra virgin. Well, doesn't that sound good? Okay. That's the good <laughs> stuff. All of this and practically every, every well, one that you see. Now, I understand Paul Newman. Mm-hmm. Paul Newman has done so much. He gives him away. He's got about a sixty million dollar business, and he gives all the profit away to charity. Does he really? Yeah, Newman's own. And wow. the, I'm told they don't put MSG in that. So we tip our hat to this outstanding actor, um, and he's helping not only charity, but he's helping the American people by. So if you can find Newman's own. Use it on your salads, but if you really want to make yourself healthy, take about two tablespoons of olive oil and a little uh, uh, balsamic vinegar <gasps> and make you better. Well, on tomorrow's 700 Club, we'll show you how to shop for foods that don't contain MSG.